Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Bryce B. Ice, and I am back with another video. I know it's been a while since I've done any kind of review. It's been at least a year, if not two years, since I've done any kind of movie-related review at all. So I'm glad to be back. I'm glad the movies are finally up and running again. I know some states, uh, New York and California, those two come to mind. I'm sure there's other states I'm not thinking of, and other areas. But... For us who are open, we do have the movies finally going. King Kong vs. Godzilla just came out a few weeks ago. That was the biggest blockbuster in easily over a year. So it's great that they're finally getting movies going on. And for everyone who is doesn't have a movie theater open, I feel for you guys. I hope they do open those all sometime soon. But I did want to give you guys an insight for what it's like going to the movies during a pandemic. I'm going to go to Cinemark Tulsa here in a little while and see the new Mortal Kombat movie that just came out. This isn't really going to be about the movie too much. I will talk and say if I like it or not afterwards. But I mainly want to talk about what they're doing to make the theater safe for people to come back. Because they do have new um, guidelines and things going on talking about what the kind of cleanliness stuff is going on as well at the theater. Just to make sure everyone is safe and healthy. And I do want to talk about that here. And I'm just going to read these straight off the website because they're a lot. <laughs> there is a lot, a lot of points. They do usually show a commercial before the movie starts, like having this, like an action so you can kind of see what they're talking about exactly. So I'm going to go over these quickly because there are so many. So cleanliness now showing everywhere. It's saying they do frequent and thorough sanitizing, which includes like the concession stands, kitchens, restaurant and bars. Uh, the restrooms and other high-touch areas throughout the theater. So they wipe all that stuff down. They do use gloves. All the employees do wear masks as well. Auditoriums and seats sanitized before every showtime. So they do, they show this, it's better illustrated in the commercial. It shows someone going through the theater with some kind of sanitation gun. It kind of looks like Lysol or something they're spraying out. They spray down every single seat uh, just to make sure that everything is cleaned up. But there also is an ample supply of hand sanitizer and seat wipes. As soon as you're going down the hallways towards the movies, in my theater, there's like a left and a right for theater 1 through 9 and then 10 through 18. There's a little thing of wipes, so you can grab those if you wanted to just wipe your hands or even wipe the seat and stuff again. Or they have the hand sanitizer, which is one of the automatic. You stick your hand underneath it, and it comes out. And there is an advanced three-point air quality standard. So this just means they have an increased fresh air rate. They improved all their HVAC systems and there's a smart flow air circulation design and elimination elimination of pollutants in the air. So just make sure like, which is also my next point. If you're going to take, you're supposed to wear your mask the entire time in the movie, unless you're eating. And so that's why they've also increased the fresh air rate and the HVAC systems. Like I've just said, because obviously our air has to go somewhere and that makes sure it recirculates the air to make sure it's cleaner and more pure. So we're not just breathing in each other's germs. So that's nice. <laughs> and it says we're trained for this. So that just means other employees have face masks, gloves and hand washings. Like I mentioned before, uh, adding first five minute wellness check in So this means whenever a uh, employee is about to check in prior to their shift in which a supervisor will ask about their wellness, complete a temperature check, and remind them many protocol updates. Any employee who has a fever or feel, feels ill will not be permitted to work. So that means they do check your temperature. They make sure you're feeling okay before you even come in. So that gives you kind of a peace of mind that these employees, you know, are, are well and they're not just working sick. And um, they also have a chief clean and safety monitor on duty that just kind of means like the almost like a manager of the, the cleanliness, I guess you would say. It'll kind of talk about that more in the commercial if I'm able to get it. A guest, a guest safety checklist. So a reduced auditorium capacities and staggered show times. So whenever you go and pick out a seat, I mainly buy my tickets online just because it's easier. Whenever you buy a seat, let's say I buy one, and this is just one right here, there's usually another one right next to you and then another one right there. These are instantly X'd off, so no one can sit next to you on either side. Unless it's like family and you're buying tickets to your girlfriend or whoever. So whenever you buy one seat, the next two or the one on each side of you is blocked off. And then someone can buy a seat on the other side of that. Just so it gives you ample room in between everyone. So that's nice as well. Uh, there's contactless ticketing. And contactless pay is another thing I want to talk about. 
when I first came back to the movies there, they actually weren't printing off paper tickets. They are, I think, for every show from here on out, they are printing them off because the last two times I did. Um, and then as far as contactless pay, they don't take cash, which is kind of a bummer. They do only take card. Uh, if you do have cash, you can actually buy a gift card and then you can use that gift card um, for tickets, snacks, and whatever you'd like. So that's kind of a bummer that you can't use cash because I know a lot of people are just cash only. And if you don't have a lot of cards or you don't like paying with cards just in general, it kind of sucks. But like I said, if you do have cash, you can buy a gift card and then you can use that for the snacks or the tickets as well. Um, and like I said, also face masks are required. So you can only take them off if you're actually eating something. And then it also talks about happy snacking. And that just kind of talks about the physical disting. There's plexiglass screens added. So yeah, whenever you are going up to the concession stand, whenever you're about to pay or something, there is a plexiglass in between you and the employee. So that kind of gives you an extra barrier in between them. And there actually is no popcorn or drink refill. So if you do need a refill, you're out of luck, which is a big time bummer. But I also do understand that as well because putting a drink that someone has drank out of and you're putting that back underneath the drink dispenser, you know, that's just germs all chilling right there on the soda dispenser and you don't want that either. And you don't want to be sharing other people's germs. So while it does suck, you know, I completely understand and we got to be careful during these times as well. And uh, I do want to thank my wife for allowing me to use her iPad for her notes. <laughs> And without further ado, I am about to head to the movies, and we're about to see about this Mortal Kombat movie. The last one came out 26 years ago, which is completely crazy. I remember watching that probably about 10 years ago because well, I, I believe one of my friends from high school or something was talking about it, and I was like, you know what? I want to check this out. And the, and the movie itself wasn't bad. It's just the CGI and stuff for that time, it doesn't hold up very well. <laughs> <laughs> so I already know this movie, as far as CGI and action sequences, I already know this movie is going to be way better. I'm very interested in the story because I have read that it's um, it's like a origin story, almost, it's an origin story slash almost like Marvel Avengers team up kind of movie. So they're trying to get like everyone together and they said it kind of doesn't flow well in that way, but I am pretty interested to see how it does flow. I feel like I'm going to like it a lot. Any kind of action movie, thumbs up for me. And I love the Mortal Kombat video game, so I already know it's going to be a lot of gore and violence and fatality coming up. So I can't wait to see this one. The Cinemark Standard. Enhanced cleanliness and safety that set a new mark of comfort for movie going. Our auditoriums are sanitized before each show. High touch surfaces, concession areas, and restrooms every 30 minutes. And hand sanitizer and seat wipes are never far away. Employees are provided with masks, gloves, and updated training on cleanliness, safety, and food handling. Guests are required to wear face masks. We encourage physical distancing and ask that you dispose of all trash when exiting, giving us extra time for enhanced sanitizing. Each theater will now have a chief clean and safety monitor on duty to ensure your experience meets the Cinemark standard. Clean, safe, and comfortable. So sit back and enjoy the show. Okay, the movie is over. I hope you guys got a good sense of what it was like to go to the movies during a pandemic. And I'm really glad they did show that commercial so I could show you guys that. As far as the movie itself, action scenes were awesome, just like I predicted. CGI looked great. I was a little disappointed in the story. I wish there was a little bit more characters from the actual game. They do set it up where there could be several more sequels. I have heard that some of the actors, if the movie's successful, they'll have up to four more sequels. I'm not sure if they can pump that many movies out of that one. But the movie was good. The story was a little bit lacking, and I wish the ending fight was just a little better. But overall, it was a pretty good movie, and I would say I like it better than the original. Um, even though I don't remember all of it, I do think the uh, the fighting scenes and stuff that I remember from the original compared to this one is just there's just no comparison on that one. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment um, on the next thing you'd like me to check out at the movies, and I'll see you guys in the next video.